Migraine is a complex neurological disease that is estimated to affect approximately 1 billion people worldwide. Experts have not identified all of the changes that happen in the brain and body during a migraine attack, but multiple factors are thought to be involved. People with migraine have brains that experience sensory overload quicker than those who don't have migraine. The sensitive brain can be caused by genetics, hormones, traumatic brain injury, and more. While people without migraine disease are often unbothered by lights, smells, and sound, these factors can trigger an attack in people with migraine. Triggers differ from person to person, but may include certain foods, barometric pressure changes, alcohol, and lack of sleep. The brain's reaction to triggers can cause disruption in the hypothalamus, brainstem, and limbic system, which can lead to moon changes, food cravings, yawning, and fatigue. These are the symptoms commonly noticed hours to days before head pain begins. This is often referred to as the prodromal period. About one third of all migraine attacks are accompanied by an aura. An aura is thought to occur because of a phenomenon known as cortical spreading depolarization, which is a wave of electrical activity passing over the outer layer of the brain known as the cortex. The aura usually occurs before the headache symptom of migraine starts or just as the headache begins. As the wave spreads over different parts of the brain, a variety of symptoms can occur, such as phantom smells, abnormal skin sensations, such as pins and needles, or numbness, or visual disturbances, like flashing or sparkling lights. Cortical spreading depolarization causes changes in brain activity and blood vessels. In response, the trigeminal nerve is activated and releases neurotransmitters and other substances that cause inflammation in the meninges. Neuroinflammation can cause many migraine symptoms, including head pain, nausea, vomiting, and skin sensitivity. Experts believe that the thalamus has a key role in the way the nervous system processes pain signals, as well as other sensory inputs like light, sound, and touch. Signals are processed by the thalamus and relayed to other brain areas involved in emotional regulation and cognition, which is why migraine can be associated with so many different neurological symptoms, such as changes in mood and thinking. The thalamus has many other roles as one of the brain's most complex structures. There is still a lot to learn about why this complex neurological disorder occurs and what happens in the brain during an attack but research is bringing us more answers every day. For more information, visit migraindisorders.org.